Now then guys, how you doing? Back on the road again, and today, me and cameraman, we have come to Cambridge. We are going to a place called Aromi. Now this is proper tickling my taste buds because you've been messaging in saying if I'm ever down this, this end of the woods, neck of the woods, whatever you want to call it, go to Aromi because it's a like literally Sicilian little, you know, street food takeaway with pizzas and, you know, cannolis. I've done something similar to this, I think, in Leeds, so it's nice to come so far away and sample to see if they're doing the same sort of thing or if it's better. So, Cambridge, fat man's here. Let's go and see what's going on at Aromi. Woohoo! Bit of a blast of the past, this, coming back here. I used to come into Cambridge shopping with my grandma when I was about eight years old. <laughs> Let's bring it on. Looking forward to this, though. Bit of pizza today. I'll tell you something, it's quite nice in Cambridge. We're coming up now. I think this is the uh, Cambridge University. We might be taking a, a turn near this cameraman. That's a nice building, is that? Is it church? Is it part of uni? It's nice round here. Yeah, there's a lot of people on uh, scooters and bikes, which is nice to see. I like it when you go into city centres and people are bombing about on bikes. It's not something that I do. I get saddled, so loot saddle. In fact, at home, <laughs> we've got exercise bike because I like to keep a little bit trim, you know what I mean? Eh, get a bit of fat off. And I've had to buy a bigger seat. You know, like a big, it's like a big padded gel seat because I get saddle so I feel like I've been on osses. Right, we're turning here, yeah? Look at that. What a beautiful building. This place where we're going is quite popular, uh, especially with students. And I love like Sicilian street food, arancini, pizza. So if they've got all that, oh. Whoa. I'm gonna go this way. It, it's just there on corner. Look, where are we gonna park? This is the problem, guys. I'm trying to find. Oh yes, we might have just found it here. Look, get on edge here. We are getting here. Yes, park up here, and off we go. Let's go get some uh, Italian Sicilian grub. Du -du -du -du. Tell you, up my mate works for them. So Wayne. Remember when we were in when it could have and that lad come over trying to nick me Chinese? He works for them, technology. The right, let's go see what's happening guys. Can't wait for this. Sicilian food. It's gonna be a bit like that place in Leeds, I reckon. Come on. Whoa. Right guys. Do you know what? It's not a bad little morning today in Cambridge. The weather's quite good. We're doing alright. I've already got coit on, but I'll get wrapped up warm. Ready to go, and it's one of those nice, fresh, brisk, should I say, mornings today. Right. Let's go, cameraman. Take away, yeah. 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 yeah I'm just off to try this place here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. We've I've been? never tried them before. Must be alright then if they've got a few. I guess so. Right, have a good day guys. I Take care. See you later. Time. Right, hoop way up. Gotta be careful here. Motorbikes flying all over. Bicycles flying all over. So here we are. 1957. So it's like 11 o'clock and people are starting eating pizzas. Yeah, crazy, crazy times. Here we go. You can see fruit window here. All these guys making them. Oh, they look amazing. Layering them up. But here we go. Let's let's go. Oh my days. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Oh, here we go, guys. Look at this. This is looking good. This. Oh. Wow. This, 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 this could cost me a bit of money, this camera man. Here we go. I can see exactly what I'm having here. So mate, I've been recommended to come down and try this out. I think that's that's taking me eye, so can I have one of them please? Yeah, and then with your sandwiches down here. So over there we have cakes. We have all the focaccia, spianata, that's all typical Sicilian. And we have a saporetini with a spinach, with a meat, ragu. Yep. That's all made from the kitchen. Oh, it looks nice. Everything, cannoli, straight from Sicily. All the produ produce is come from Sicily, 90%. 
Yeah. All the products. Oh, where are you? Where are you from? Sicily, Palermo. Right. Lovely. So I'll have one of them then. One Can I try? Pizza. Is it? Is this a salami one? Yeah, the spicy. We have a spicy salami, and we have the finocchione. It means it's uh, with the fennel. Salami with fennel. I'll, la spicy. I'll have. Yeah, I'll have the spicy the one. I'll try that one. one. Okay. Can I try one of the ragu arancinis? One of the ragu arancini, yes. And then, oh, I've got to try. Oh, I've got definitely got to try some of these. Uh, I'll have one of these. Big cannolis, please. Cannoli with pistachio or with a ricotta? I'll have the pistachio, please. Small or large one? Uh, I'll just have a small one, please. Small one, yeah. yeah, and then uh, I'm going to have to try one of the tiramisu's because that's one of my favourite desserts. Yes, I'm going to get it to take out because I want to eat take it outside. Out, definitely. And uh, a bottle of water, please. Yes, sir. Sparking or still? Just still, please. Okay. How much is that, love? Oh, I could, I could live in here. Thank you. Thank you. Cannolo, one uh, spianata salami, and one capricciosa. And one arancina ragù, right? Yes, please. Okay. They look big, them look nice. Anything else? That's it, thank you. Alright. So that's 28 pence. Oh. There you go. Oh, you ready for it? And can I get a receipt as well, please, yes. love? Is that alright? Oh, three minutes and everything is going to be ready. Yeah, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a table up outside. That's fine. Yeah. And we'll bring it to you, no worries. Lovely, that'll be great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right then. Yes. Cheers, guys. Thank you for we know it's just yeah. I'll be the only guy sat yeah, outside with this. <laughs> so there'll be nobody else doing this. Right, <laughs> cheers guys. Thank you very much guys, thank you. Oh guys, this is giving me proper Poco vibes. We're gonna get here and then you can see it in background. It's absolutely amazing. What I like about it <coughs> is they've got a big cafe area there. So people are coming in here, they're putting their order and then they're going to sit down, right? As you come past this window, you can actually see them making the pizzas, the sandwiches and all that. But then when you go in the shop, how it's displayed, oh my God, oh my days, it looks amazing. So we're gonna, we're gonna get here, museum entrance, hopefully. We won't, we won't, we won't, uh, we won't get it where we'll have to see, because we can't get on the street because if I'm honest with you, my belly just fits on path, you know what I mean? I'm filling path just with me. So hopefully we'll be all right here. Now, that one a struggle for me because this is the type of food that I like. Looking at all those pizzas, looking at all those sandwiches. Oh, you know, it, basically the sarnies look like it's the pizza bases with all the filling stuffed oh, in between. Oh. Right, let's get sat down, knack a crackers away. Let's do a chair test. Please don't bust here. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So we have got so the arancini, four pound fifty. Water's two pound ten. A bit pricey down here, right? But then the salami sandwich, seven seventy. Tiramisu, I had to get one of them, four thirty. The cannoli, I've got a small one at two pound eighty. And then we have got the the pizza is coming in at seven pound ten. It's not too bad, you know. It's not too bad. You're looking like seven. Seven and a half quid for your main, either a sandwich or a pizza. They're a decent size. The toppings and the fillings look amazing. The desserts, you're looking around four quid, four and a half quid. It's all good. It's all looking good. So whoa, let's get ready. Let's tuck in. I think I should have been Italian. I should have been like Super Mario brother, eating all this food. And what a nice guy as well. 
Oh, oh. Wait, wait. Salami over here, the spicy oh, one. oh, that smells amazing. And uh, we have a caprichos over here, and the cakes, and the water. Enjoy. And the arancini? And the arancini is coming now. Lovely. Yes. Thank you very um, much, guys. I'm going to bring some napkins. Uh, would you like cutlery? Uh, no, I can eat this okay. with my fingers. Okay. I should be all I'm right. Going to bring some Thank you very much, love. Thank you. Wow. Right. So we've even got Italian water. <laughs> Let's wet the whistle. Wow, look at this. So we've got cheese, ham, olives. What was it? Artichokes on there. Oh my God. This looks good. Oh. Let's get this going here. Wet the whistle. Um, Whoa, thank you very much, love. Thank you. And the napkins. Enjoy. Thank you. Whoa. Right. I don't know what to what to start with, cameraman. What should we go for here? I think. Put these napkins here so they don't blow away. Right. Stick that there. Now. Dessert. Let's get them over there. We set up. We're ready to go. This looks like a bomb. I'm going to start with this. Nice and warm, soft. So hopefully, ragu. Oh, this should be good. Oh, oh, there's a nice bit of a cheese pull there as well. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh my days. Smells amazing. Let's. Oh, my mouth is watering with this. Oh, I've got cheese hanging out my mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is just busting with flavour. You've got that risotto rice in there. You've got a nice meter to go. And then you've got the cheese oozing out. Look at this watch. Look at the cheese coming out, pulling up. Oh, oh. All right, pal, how are you doing? Hey, brother. All right, all right. Man, I honestly need to make, I need to take a photo of that and send it to one of my best friends, you know. Of course you can, mate. How are you doing? Good, mate, I'm just going to wipe my hands. It's a long, long way for you to come down here. It is, but do you know what? Looks like it's been worth the trip so far. Look at that. Have mate, you tried, have you tried this? From, uh, yeah. From yeah, yeah. Whoa. Have you been there? Yeah, plenty of times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been recommending to come down here so many times. Are people. you staying or are you are you going? Because I have to. I have so many places to recommend. Well, what, what you got? Where? Right. You gotta go to Hungrial on Mill Road. Right. It's a new it's a Greek gyros place. Oh no. And I know you do kebabs and that. Yeah, stuff, yeah, so yeah. You got, you, it's good quality. You're gonna yeah. love it. Yeah. And it's be, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. This will this will not be the first time that I'm down here. Now that I've been here, we've, we've had a drive round this morning. It's a beautiful place, first of all, to yeah, come in. It's nice. absolutely lovely. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, yeah, you're all right. But the food. I mean, I've just bit into that and demolished that. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is good. Yeah. Full of flavour. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, he has. He has three shops now. This guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I can see why, and it's pretty busy as so well. You know, he started here small like this this side right first, then expanded we got the next bit and yeah yeah, yeah. that sitting area right and then he's got around just around the corner he's got another one he sells uh, ice cream like gelato all oh, right yeah Italian ice cream over there and apparently now they're selling pasta as well right it's a new thing and then they've got another one in a different neighborhood no this is so far i can't wait to get into this but no thanks for following gonna... did you want a photo uh, yeah no, I yeah do. <laughs> yeah Good, good stuff what you do, I love it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm going to nick another bit of that. <laughs> oh, it's got my taste buds going, that is beautiful. Hey, uh, mate, you're right. Yeah, We're going to get the food in. With my <laughs> brother from Leeds, right? Leeds, that's it, mate. I lived in Leeds for 10 years, mate. Yeah. And what did you think of Leeds? You like it? Love it. Yeah. I spent my twenties in Leeds. Yeah. Best time, best time ever. Yeah. The food up there now was street food up there is just next it, level up there. I well, I bet, I bet. It was great back then yeah. as well. Like loads of bars. It was beautiful. Yeah. And I have a soft spot for the club as well. Yeah. So I hope we go out this year. There you go. We're there close. you go. No, take care, mate. <laughs> 
Right. Two guys sorted Thank you. Out, yeah? See you later, okay. mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, mate, you all right? All right, pal. Right. Oh, I'm going to have to get into that again. I'm going to just nick that little bit of cheesy, cheesy mince there, look. Look at that. So got, it's not even minced, like a bit of steak, a bit of ragu beef, that. Oh. Oh. You can taste like a bit of red wine in there. Soft, beautiful, you've got the crispy outer edge. That is absolutely, that, a grab and go, is amazing. Right, I'm gonna get into the pizza next. It's calling me. So look at this, we've got a beautiful pizza base. Toppings on there of olives, ham. We've got that beautiful cheese, the smell of it, absolutely gorgeous. It smell, I, I can smell that like bit of charring. Oh, right, let's get into this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, mate, you all right? Oh my God. Oh, the only thing I can describe this, you put it in your mouth, your tongue touches the bottom and you've just got instant flavor bursting through, right? Listen, I don't know if you can hear it. The crunch is amazing. There's a light tomato sauce on that, but all my days, the prosciutto ham, the olives, oh, that does take me to Italy. I've been to Italy, and this is all I did, is eat stuff like this. Wow! Oh, what a nugget we've found here. Right, let's get into the sandwich. So like I said, look, you've got like your focaccia bread, so it's like the pizza bread. Two bits of pizza there. But you've got the salami, you've got some dried tomatoes, got a bit of cheese in there, all wedged in. Let's try this, it is warm. <laughs> oh, I, I don't even eat it. Oh my god. This bass boss slapped me up, I've gone to heaven. Oh my god. I cannot stress the taste of this bread, this base bottom, is absolutely amazing. It has got such a, a beautiful little crunch. Golden finish, nice and soft in the middle. And then you've got spicy salami, cheese, sun-dried tomatoes. You bite it, you shut your eyes. I mean, it's just silly here. I just need a glass of wine. And I'm done. When we, when we got here, we walked past the window and it was full of people. And I was wondering to myself, it's 11 o'clock, why is it full of people eating pizza and dinner? You can see why. I've got a nice, I'm having another bite of this, a nice bit of spice coming through. I want to try that bit there. Oh. That is absolutely bang on. Oh. There's it, is it all over me. Look, there's a bit of rice behind me, mate. I'm eating that, I'm not wasting it. Oh my days. Right, so, desserts. So they had the bigger cannolis. Cameraman said to me, he says, where's big one gone? So I went for a little one. Gonna taste the same. I didn't want to waste it because if I, if I have this, I know I'm gonna eat the whole thing. So this has got a pistachio filling. Oh my God. That smells like the sweetest of the sweet I'm ever gonna have in my life. Look at that, these are like little dynamites that go off in your mouth. You put them in your mouth usually. If it's a good one, <coughs> it'll just explode. Let's go. Oh my. Ah. Whoa. I didn't even realise there was chocolate in it. So you've got Oh my days, our pastry, 
thin layer of chocolate and then like the pistachio custard the sweetness coming from this I'm having it whoa if I lived here I wouldn't be able to move now you can taste the freshness the sweetness all oh my days right so anybody that knows me will know that when I go to a restaurant and I look at the dessert menu if they've got tiramisu on that's it I don't get any further even when there's pie and custard I always end up back with tiramisu now this looks like it's covered in a lot of cocoa powder oh my days oh oh soft oh it looks like it is absolutely soaked to this oh my here we go oh. I am absolutely in love oh I'm in love with this place I am you know what we must be here I am gutted this in on my doorstep right oh where do we start right, right so four and a half quid these were what I said seven and a half quid that's gone Canola's out of town. I've not even wet my whistle because I just wanted to keep going. I've had a little bit of water and I've gone. Let's start off with the arancini. Beautiful soft rice in there with a beautiful ragu, full of flavour. Then you've got that crispy crumbed outer coating. You open it up, it's like a, 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 a drop, a drop of heaven. You can taste beautiful flavours in that like I've never tasted before, if I'm honest with you. Absolutely bang on. I've then moved on. We went on to pizza, absolutely bang on. The bake of this bread, gorgeous. Like I say, as soon as you stick your tongue and you put that on the bottom of your tongue, your palate starts to light up like there's some kind of party going on. The flavours, the sauce, but the crispy crunchiness of it and then how soft it is, is just, it, it messes with your head, it's great. The sandwich, it looks simple. It looks like it's just going to be fluffy air and there's not much to it but I am telling you the flavour combination inside this once you bite into it it sets you well delight it really does it's absolutely fantastic the cannoli that was soft you bit into it it just melted out of sweetness it was like a little grenade going off as soon as you got into that bang that's it the flavour's banging all over you've got that sweetness then the tiramisu like I say, it's one of my favourite desserts. I'm going in for it again. I'm going to finish off with this. Right, this. Wow. I've come here just for that. That beautiful coffee taste coming through. That beautiful mascarpone. Covered in that cocoa powder. Oh, beautiful. Right, guys. You've asked me to come down here. Try it out. I have done. Right. It... I told you I did one of these in Leeds that were very similar and I was blown away with that. I thought, you know, it were going to be very hard to find somewhere that we're going to beat that. I'm going to be totally honest with you. This has beat that for me. I did Pocos in Leeds and it was bang on. But this, there's just something about the texture, the flavour that has just sort of upped its game. Definitely worth coming. If you've been here, let me know what you think. If you've not been, come down, try it out. But for me, guys, this is it. Every single thing. This is probably going to be in one of my top takeaways now. Absolutely bang on. It's a solid 10 from me. I'll see you next time. I want to eat it all. It is all going. Ah.